Good evening, I'm your Rogers Bo Dotson. It is about eight o'clock, making you a quick video, easier to do this uh, than a Facebook Live right now. If we have severe weather like tonight and a tornado damage and wind threat, then I might do a Facebook Live and YouTube Live. For now, we're watching these thunderstorms. This is infrared satellite over northwest Mississippi starting to develop. I'm watching this area of thunderstorms in Oklahoma that will move into our region tomorrow morning. This area here and additional showers and thunderstorms are going to form over the next few hours in our region. The primary concern uh, for tonight will be hail, although we'll have to watch the Boot Hill, Northwest Tennessee, and along the Kentucky-Tennessee border for a damaging wind threat and maybe maybe even a short-lived tornado. We see here at 8 o'clock these thunderstorms forming over Mississippi and eastern Arkansas. Additional storms will form as the warm front lifts northward. And again, the concern tonight will be hail, possibly some pretty large hail. Now, I did send out an app message a little while ago mentioning hail. I don't typically send out app messages late at night for hail because, well, there's nothing you can really do. Your time to prepare for hail is now. That means put your car in, under the carport or in the garage if you have one. Otherwise, there's not much else you can do. If damaging wind or tornadoes develop, then, of course, I'll send out additional app messages. Let me show you a little bit of computer model data. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know I always look at dew points this time of the year uh, to see if they're going to reach the 58 to 60 degree mark or higher. So we move through here with the HRRR model and watch the dew points overnight as they stream northward 12 a.m. 60 degree dew point in Paducah and lower 60s in the Missouri Boot Hill. And then as we move through the overnight hours, we can watch the dew points sort of stall along that warm front. And then tomorrow morning is pretty concerning. This particular model shows dew points rising well into the 60s. That's a lot of fuel at 10 a.m. in the morning for thunderstorms to tap into. I have concerns about that. If this model is right, then tomorrow morning into early afternoon, we're going to have to keep a close eye on thunderstorms that develop in this region here, southern Indiana, west Kentucky, southeast Illinois, down into Tennessee, because that's a lot of fuel, and if supercells develop, we could have large hail, damaging wind, and even tornadoes. There's some debate about this among the Weather Service, the Storm Prediction Center, and other forecasters about whether this is going to verify. So we're just going to have to watch trends. The data has slowed the cold front just a little bit, and that's why we are uh, looking at the possibility of severe weather tomorrow and I'll be keeping a very close eye on it. Let's take a look at Futurecast radar. So we're going to watch thunderstorms rapidly develop over the coming hours as that warm moist air moves northward. We'll stop here at 11 o'clock and you can see thunderstorms in southeast Missouri, western Kentucky, southern Illinois, the Boot Hill, northwest Tennessee, just scattered storms. We think the threat with these will be hail and a lower risk of damaging wind. There is an inversion over the region, a bit of a cap. That might help the damaging wind and tornado threat to be lower tonight. We will need to watch the Boot Hill and then along the Kentucky-Tennessee border southward tonight for damaging wind and maybe a short-lived tornado. But then we move through the night and we just see numerous showers and thunderstorms and this is going to cool the atmosphere some. So initially the threat uh, this evening into the early overnight hours uh, say a 10, 11, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock would be hail and then it just kind of congeals into this mess and that will lower the hail risk and then as we move through tomorrow that's when we need to watch the cold front will it, won't it, new thunderstorms develop around 9 or 10 a.m. in this zone here remember what I said earlier we're really going to have to watch that because that's a lot of moisture, high dew points, and cape values for thunderstorms to tap into and they're showing sort of a super cellular type development. So we're just going to have to see if the cold front slows and we do get new storms formed tomorrow uh, early to mid morning. And some of those could be severe with damaging wind, hail, and even a tornado. And we'll move through the afternoon hours. We'll see here about three o'clock is when the storms finally start to push out of my area. Just a few lingering showers and storms in Davies County, Muhlenberg, Hopkins, uh, counties, but the bulk of it, the heavy stuff, starts to move off to the east by early and mid-afternoon and they'll have to deal with severe weather to our east as well. So we'll look at that one more time. We move through this evening, we'll see showers and thunderstorms develop into the overnight hours into tomorrow morning and some of those storms could produce severe thunderstorm warnings. We may have a severe thunderstorm watch. We'll see what the Storm Prediction Center does. That's up to them. Uh, remember, watch means to monitor updates and a warning means to seek shelter. 
for now, the concern overnight is mainly hail. We'll keep an eye on the Boot Hill, northwest Tennessee, along the Kentucky-Tennessee border for maybe a damaging wind and tornado threat tonight, a uh, short-lived uh, tornado threat. And then tomorrow, we'll keep an eye on how fast the cold front moves through and whether new storms develop, uh, as I mentioned here, as we move through the mid-morning to late afternoon hours. I'll be with you over on the Facebook page, and then again, I may do a Facebook Live if necessary, and then also stream on YouTube under Bo Dotson. You can find me on Twitter under Bo Dotson, and then Facebook, Bo Dotson Weather. Don't forget the Weather Talk app. Subscribe to that, and you'll receive the app messages that I send out with a heads up for severe weather, ice storms, winter storm, tornado warnings, and other. All right, have a good evening.